So here we have a common basis, so we can use the like base property in order to rewrite this expression. But again, instead of using the bases, all we're going to do is write the expression using the exponents. Just like you see here. So notice again, it's just we've rewritten the expressions, but without the bases. So from here we would solve this just like we would a regular equation. And I would distribute the 2. We could say we'd distribute that 5 into the parentheses there as well. And that gives us 6x minus 14 equals 10x. Now I want all the x's on one side of the equal, so I'll subtract 6x from both sides. And some of you could subtract the 10x from both sides, but then you would have to add 14 to both sides anyway. So this zeroes out, and that becomes a zero pair. We still have that negative 14, and this now equals 10x minus 6x, which is 4x. Finally, to solve this equation, we would divide both sides by 4, which would give us the value of x as a negative 7 halves, which is also negative 3.5. And there we go. Uh, to check this one, you would plug the x back into the original equation. And there's the work to check. So notice all I did was replace the x's in the original equation with the value we have as negative 7 halves. I multiplied in here to get these. And uh, I didn't evaluate 2 to the power of negative 35 because it's such a small number. Uh, but I know if I have the same bases and the same exponents, that it would give me the same value anyway. So that's what we found there. Again, that's just checking the work, which you can do. And uh, I highly encourage it, especially on a test, because it helps you to know that your answer is correct on a test which are very important in your classes. So thanks for watching this video.